Good morning to the valley. Ugh. Hero. Back. Ah, Elliot. Oh. Has it been a week already? Ah. Looks like Elliot is the wizard that makes the good weather in the valley. He was gone and it was snow all week long. And now you can hear the cheep 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 of the little birdies outside. Oh, I've missed you, Piro. One drop of the big city and I'm quenched. I much prefer being back here with you. I'm just missing the wine kegs. <sighs> I guess it's back to the old routine once again. I've got some chores to catch up on. Yep, gotta write your next book. You are in a constant... Competition with your uncle, your aunt, Vivian, and... Oh, why is it snowing? Isn't it? Oh, of course the festival. Well, I know what I'm gonna do. Thank you, madam. I'm gonna read my post and I'm gonna bugger off. Tomorrow we'll be gathering by Andy's house for the ice fishing competition. My dear Piero, this will be my last letter before I return home. Oh, yeah. I, I think I, one day I didn't leave home, I just said, nope, went back into bed. I look forward to the comfort of our little house, satisfying farm work, a home-cooked meal, and most of all, cozy into the flannel sheets with you. See you soon, Elliot. Dear Diary, currently on the bus on my way to Redacted, which is a city in Redacted, aka my hometown. I wonder if our old house will be there. There's a man snoring very loudly in the row behind me. I hate the bus. Woe is me. XOXO. Jew. Oh well. It makes her happy. Hooray! The snow has stopped because it's an event, but tomorrow will be snow again. I married the Ice Queen or something, the Winter Man. I've been mean to Santa. Dear Diary, I made it. I haven't had anything to eat since yesterday. Weather here is abysmal, and the man at the border had the gall to interrogate me about the purpose of my visit. Rude. Teleportation sure does come in handy sometimes. Found our old house. It's still standing. It's still ugly. I can't believe I used to live here. Well, my cave is much nicer. I'm waiting for the right moment to walk up and knock on the front door. I'll come soon. I think any minute now. Although I am very hungry. So XOXO do. <laughs> Alright, everything in the town is closed because of events. Of course it is. Monday events only next week. But I got a quest from Jasper about Dwarven Scrolls. He wants to learn the Dwemer speech. But I got laying around. Nothing. I got nothing lying around in times of dwarves. However, maybe the Junimos are up for business, even though it's event day. Down the left to the Juni clearing. Because I'm pretty sure one of the shops over here sold. There they are. One, two, and three. Oh, what do I do for Jasper? I hope he appreciates it. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Roddy. Hm. You want to build a snowman? Doesn't have to be a snowman. He has no Rodney. Sir. Oh, this sculpture is a tribute to the founder of Galena, a mermaid by the name of Melusine. It's a striking likeness. Oh, she put on the North Pole, she got frostbites. Oh, look who's happy to angle. Oh, Blair, I have the best bait in town. If we won't win, I don't want it. Hey, Mori, how you doing? Hmm, do you have any idea what this thing is? 
No? Let's ask Jewels. Hey, Jade. Oh, no, it's Lucy. Like my ice sculpture? Noticed how it looks like a frozen potato? I've sculpted it with you... With your image and... Uh, why I look like a potato? Then I got the cool, cool sunglasses. You're welcome. Hey, Jade. Hmm. An odd thing to sculpt. I could call it a cool teardrop. Right, Robbie? I know. I'm late getting this done again. <sighs> but it has to be architecturally accurate. Yeah, being overly accurate is always pain. Riley? Oh, isn't Leia's sculpture amazing? I can draw, but I can't sculpt like that. Almost jealous. Oh, don't be jelly. Green, hey Tabby. Theo didn't want to come because of the snow. Uh, I'll have to have twice as much fun for him. Oh. Hello, Lily Shilly. Lily, that's your voice, even though I don't say I don't do voices for the time. Well, freezing out here. Lily, Lily, not frost jelly. Lily slime gonna freeze. Oh. Right up here is the ninja and magical dude, and that's. It's Kiwi, Morgan. Hey, Morgan. Concentration of magic in this spot is incredible. If you say so, buddy. Are ah, you hiding, Rosa? Uh, we're thinking of sneaking into one of those ice huts. Uh, it's got to be warmer in there, right? Normally, Juliet. That part too, huh? I mean, snowmen are cool and all that, but... Hey, get it? Yeah, sometimes I just kind of... A bit of space to myself, you know? The three people. Ooh! Maybe George and Jane are... Skulking around somewhere. After they carnivorous the deer. Oh, Kim, what's wrong? Oh, it's very cold out here. I should have worn a jacket. Are you all alone down here? Came out weird. Down. Black. Oh, well. Ah, the frost invigorates. Yeah, but mostly you. Charlie. Hmm. Why do they fish in the winter? Why? Just why? This doesn't make any sense. Well, it's tradition. It doesn't. not supposed to make sense. Uh, Nikolai, maybe we can make a snowman together, eh? June? This time of year is so great and beautiful. I'm so grateful that the town comes together like this to celebrate each year. Hey, Aspen. I talked to Linus earlier and he was telling me a funny story about how he learned to build igloos. Well, it was pretty out there, so I couldn't tell if he was serious or not. Well, I mean, it's Lewis. Right, Randy? Oh, hi, Piero. Can I fish? Pretty please. Oh. Can use your little dangly light on your head as a lure. Hey, Nagito. Sometimes I think about participating, but I don't know. I'd probably just embarrass myself. Isn't that the point of having fun in the sun? Like Daya? Baby, I'm cold. After hooking some fish, come and hook me too, okay? Promise. Yeah, I'll be waiting. I'll. Hmm. Would you like to build a snowman with me? Um, Ports, what are you doing? Oh, you're making a snow turtle angel. <laughs> Ryal, how's the line in the valley? Hmm. Fishing. Nah, I'm hopeless with a fishing rod. So instead, I just watch the competition. Good luck out there. I'm gonna win, right, Johnny? You catch some fish, maybe we can talk loose into letting us keep them. Ah, it's catch and release, buddy. Well, you better watch out. I have snowballs locked and loaded. Ooh. Are you aiming at Aguar? Hey, little pangy. 
I hope I travel too many different places when I'm all grown up. Maybe some places even cooler than there, than here. Hey, Oliver! Oliver came! Oh no, it's... Sophia the one that was always missing, was it Oliver? Hi, hey, Piero, you guessed it, I'm hiding from my mom. Besides, the island's pretty cool. I wonder how deep the water is. Hmm, who knows? Who's new? Who are new? Hmm, I can't fish at all. I love to, but it's too hard. Gregory. Oh, but you need a little bit of protein in your cave. Wait, where's the rest? They're stable, but there's quite a few people I'm missing. <sighs> so cold, isn't it? The same. There's Luna. Fishies! They're so cute. They can be made into really tasty food too. But not today. Just foment them and then throw them back. How does fishing even work? Nobody knows. Witchcraft. Raffy? Ah, uh, I swear I want to master the art of fishing. Why are you all so focused on fishing, right Sydney? Oh, have you seen these ice sculptures? Some of the people here are so talented. Now if only could if only someone could build a fire. That's later in the year, honey. When the great pyre of the rich is being built. Oh, there's someone. Hey Isis. I left Lee in the comfort of the house. The cold weather could make him sick. Uh I won't last much longer either. Maybe I'll leave before the competition starts. Pain, you're normally not here. I never had the time to learn how to fish before. Sunny and the other mates would take care of catching the fish since we were younger. Well, either that or grandmother has crates of fish being blown in from somewhere abroad. Sounds like her. Alright, but what about Edward, Miranda, Alright, Theo, Tabby said Theo wouldn't come. Leo is a little doggy who freezes his little doggy butt off. Hmm. Ooh, there's Linus. Hey, Linus. Yes, you know me. I like to keep him at distance. Jasper. Hello, Piero. Linus was just regaling me with tales of the tundra dwellers. There's someone else. Jesse. Like Noma. I hope you're keeping warm today, Piero. Festivals are a good opportunity to catch up with everybody and make the communicable diseases go all around. Hey, apples. Apple follow human into forest. Weep. Here is what you're all doing. But it looks like... Yep, no Miranda, no Edward. Right, get the thing going on. Oh no! How can I fish? Oh. Oh. Look at the little rascal. I'll get you now, Curry. Oh no, I don't have my angle under the control. Bloop. I'm angling myself. It'd be funny if that was possible. Feeling the mayor's hat. Oh, that one counts? Really? Oh well, if you... Let's have a chat, right? Hi, Carolyn. Hmm, fuck up, Abby. Anything this time? Hi. Miranda, no Edward. No new faces. Hmm, oh well, well, what should I do? No, I don't want to win this time. Oh wow, what a lot of fish, says our little Louie. Oh, and the smell. It's... I mean, how can ice-cold fish smell so much? Normally, if things are cool, they smell less because, you know, less energy, less vibration of the molecules. Less dissipation of odorous fluids. Oh. No supplementation... Supplemine? Fish word for it. Well, you know, when you go 
from solid to gas immediately without going through the liquid stage. All right, Willie with fifth back to fifth. Five big fish fresh. Fresh fish. Willie wishy, Willie wish, fish, fish, fish as Fritz, frisch, frische Fische or something. All right, thank you all for the festival, and tomorrow, well, we have another day. Party day. Well, doesn't he look fetching? The marriage of the farmer and the demon. This moment forward, hero will be a great bond. There's been a few pictures I need to install. But I guess I do it after the new PSU. Blows up the Tabitha? Ooh, no longer Nikolai. We switch to Tabby. All right, husband and mayor of Pelican Town, you may kiss. So yesterday I tried to get a reception going after the fishing event. Did it passed through, or if I have to settle once again for an anniversary. More importantly, if it will still snow tomorrow. Oh! <laughs> the event hall is ready. Take us down, Naomi. Oh. That yeah, looks like a little bit of military uniform, you know, with the, with the stripes and a little gold on his shoulder. His epaulets, as they're called. Well, how does it feel wearing pants who go higher than your thighs? A toast to the happy couple. Thanks, Lanny. Go dancing. Din, 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 din. And that was the great reception. So today should be a sunny day. The second in the entire wintry season so far. Alright, can't talk to Lucy because Tabitha is spawning in and out of it. Madam senses some deep fried something. Oh, dear diary. Well, I have good news, bad news and embarrassing news. The embarrassing news is that I'd forgotten how old my parents were. I know you know that I'm not that old. Diary, but same can't be said for my parents. Hmm. The good news that my mother holds the spot as redacted oldest living person. The bad news is that my father doesn't. I'm fine, don't worry, but I guess I have to come up with an alternative plan now. Oh, I hate it when this happens. XOXO Jew. Hmm. Oh, it's still his birthday, and we can actually give him a birthday gift. Let's try. Abby. That's the... Debug, warp character to me, Lucy. Yell. Whoop. There we go. Here's your birthday present on the day of your wedding, and... Wedding was wonderful, wasn't it, dear? Yes, it was. Back to work. Alright, so one of the probably last marriages in this year, because I want to save some up from next year where I probably won't be really marriages, just taking them on, setting them as married and then having the reception a day later, would be June, since I'm not sure he will stay around, we marry him. There he is, there's a room. Hey June. Oh, honey, how could I say no? I'll love you more than anything. I'll let Lenny know, and he lets Lewis know, and then everybody knows. Honestly, I don't need some big event. Just want to start our future together. Yes, my home has its own big band. Mama Piro! What's Lou? What's Lou's Eloise? Hmm, Mama Piro, I'm so glad I found you. Miss, C Miss Katarina's egg, it's hatching. Hmm, she sent me to get Shane, but you're better. But I don't have the camera. 
She says it's a cockatrice and that's a scary monster and it might turn all our animals into stone. You'll protect us, won't you? I got my mirror shield right. Awesome. Oh, we gotta hurry. <clears throat> hmm. Dad said the cockatrice aren't real. It was probably a chicken and even if it was a cockatrice, it would only be a baby one and be harmless. But... Oh, why'd you bring him? Jacob, you are just in time. It's about to hatch. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Where is it? Can't see anything. What hatched? Shh. <laughs> Do you want to be turned to stone, child? Says Katarina. No. No, oh, it was a little void cheeky. It's a chicken. Oh, how cute. Hmm, not what you were hoping for, right, Miss Katharina? Not even remotely. Hmm, can we keep him, Dad? Please, pretty please. Well... It's not me you need to ask, my sweetheart. It's Miss Katerina's chicken, if she'll have him. Well, he's a black cock. It's halfway to a cockatrice. You only need the tress part. Can we look after him for you? I'll take babe and so good care of him. Uh, sure, whatever. Oh, It's following her. Don't worry, little one. I'll look after you. Hmm. Another new critter for the menagerie. I wonder what noble title she'll give this one. Emperor. Oh, no, 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 that's the duck. Hmm. The Archduke of Canterbury. Oh, it's only Prince Shadow. Oh, but it still likes his little mommy. Oh, hey, it's you two again. Brought them very fast to the bus stop. Mama Piero, the chicken. He's gone. He ran away. Have you seen him, please? Have you seen him? Well, I got quite a few chickies, but... I keep an eye out for him. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Tell her the rock, the rock crabs eat him. Oh, we both know he lives now on Katerina's hair, like a little fluffy nest for him. Thank you, Piero. You're the best. Let me know if you find him, okay? Sure do, honey. Ah, the winter can be so beautiful when it's not constantly snowing, at least from a bird eye perspective. Oh, thanks. Dad and me are gonna be looking all day if we have to. Oh. Won't we, Dad? Oh, poor Jacob. I'm sure we'll find him soon. Can't have gone far. Thanks, Piro. Be careful if you see something. Can't go far. You're already at the other side of the valley. Beyond me, there's the desert. Miss Marnie, next? Oh, maybe, honey. Hey Rosie, what you doing? Trying to install the little ghost wobbly machine into the table. Howdy Piro, good timing. We've got ourselves a small mouse problem. And I could do with a second pair of hands. Great. I'll scare it out and you be ready to grab it. You're fast, right? Sure. Oh, now we got a third pair of hands. Ready? And... Hmm. You haven't seen Prince Shadow, have you? It's a very small chicken. Oh! There's a little mouse. That's him. I mean, if you called that thing small... 
Oh. Please don't be frightened. I'm sorry I scared you, Prince Shadow. Yeah, but the first person Prince Shadow saw was Katerina. Who asked what's all the kerfuffle about? Kerfuffle? Uh, sorry if our hijinks are disturbing you, Miss Katerina. Don't apologize, Rose. No. Oh, have you got a chicken in here? Uh, no, it's under your skirts. Oh, Prince Shadow wasn't lost at all. He was looking for his mommy. And now he's found her. Me? Yes, it's called imprinting. It means... Uh, I know what imprinting means, child. <laughs> you do? Of course, some of us were paying attention in zoology class. Also, I wanted the cockatrice to be my personal weaponized evil lizard claw dragon uh, chicken thingy. What was it? Cockatrice? The algamation of algamation. It's also a basilisk crossed with a chicken, I guess. So, reptilian chicken, which is okay because all birds are reptiles. Well, I suppose I'm stuck with you then. Cheap. Or more like cheap. Like a really tiny chicken, but a real deep cheap. But cheap. Not, nothing short, just what a, a long, deep growling cheap. Although I'm not sure if this is in allows livestock. Well, normally we don't. But I'll see what can be arranged. So, what are you going to call him? I called him Prince Shadow, but not sure he likes it much. I shall dub the ruin of my career! Right, Cathy? Hmm. We once visited a ghost town up in the Cascades. And it was overrun by feral monkeys. It all seemed quiet and a lot, but poor Rose nicked. But one bit poor Rose and nicked his camera. Already. Ooh, spooky stuff. What you got for me, you rass? Ah, Beetle. It's me. Welcome, what brings you to my dwelling on this blessed night? Oh, hey, it's Nagito. Resmodius, my lord. I'm here to pick up the... Ugh. You fool! Shut up! Hero must not hear of this matter. Why? Why not? Trust me with the secrets of the forest. I think I can handle it. Hmm. Perhaps you have a point, Piero. You must have spoken too harshly. Uh, and much too quickly. Wait, the what? Oh, never mind that. Now then. Nagito receives some sort of talisman. Perfect, thanks. Yeah, great secret. He got jewelry. Now he throws it in the lake. Pretty neat, huh? It's supposed to be blessed. A good luck charm. I know it's silly, but it helps me feel better. Well... I think it's actually sweet. I'm a nice guy. I had a feeling you'd understand. You seem to get me. Just tell people what they want to hear. I'm a little manipulative farmer who builds his own empire. This whole valley will be mine. Anyway, I should let you get back to it. Because even those I don't marry are related to someone I marry or just... The odd free persons out. Oh? 
Why am I at Yuna's? Ever in the cellar? Ain't no prod like a crow, but... Who goes? Ah! Bad. It's a replay. Oh, he doesn't hurt. Well, I think we got Mateo more or less back of where he was. Which means... Not ended in the house. Oh, I got target indicator on again. Oops. Oh, whatever. Hope you had a nice time. Thank you. Bye bye.